guys, welcome to Allotronics, I'm Gregory. Today you're gonna see a voltage controlled oscillator using JFETs, a very nice circuit. Let's go! So guys, here you have a VCO where we can change the frequency, changing the control voltage. A control voltage that changes the frequency. And this is the circuit. Let's see how it works. We have here a JFET in the middle and this JFET is self-biased, so we do not need to have a biasing network to bias the JFET. This is an advantage of using JFETs in oscillators, less uh, parts on, on the circuit. We have a Hartley topology, so we have two inductors and the capacitor here are two diodes, two uh, uh, fast rectifier diodes used here as varactors. These diodes here the 5819 um, are very nice diodes to be used as varactors because uh, uh, they have a very large range of, of capacitance to the control voltage. Very nice. So the capacitance of the diodes with the inductance here uh, creates a, a, a parallel tank here and the feedback goes to the gate by the upper inductor here. So uh, uh, this resonant network will produce a, a sustained oscillator in the resonant frequency of the network. And changing the voltage here, we change the depletion of the diodes and we change the capacitance so we can change uh, and, and, and modulate the frequency of oscillation. The output here uh, uh, is uh, taken from the drain of the JFET uh, AC coupled uh, to a SMA cable here. If you use a modulating signal on the control voltage, we can have the circuit works as a FM modulator, a frequency modulator. Let's see. It's really hard to see an FM modulation on the time domain here on the scope. We can try to see the frequency uh, variations, but we cannot see. But it's very clear on the frequency domain of the signal. Here in the frequency domain, we can clearly see the Bessel series, the Bessel functions created by the frequency modulation. If we turn off the frequency modulation, we have the sinusoidal output of the oscillator. If you turn on the modulating signal, we have the Bessel series on the frequency domain. Really nice. It's really important to isolate the control voltage of the resonant tank here using a large resistor. Uh, on the biasing of the diodes. So the control voltage is isolated with this 47K resistor here and this capacitor here that shunts all the RF that comes from the tank to ground here. So the inductance of the lines here do not alter the resonant frequency of the tank. It's not the best practice to mount this kind of a circuit oscillator, high frequency oscillators in breadboards, but we can see that it works fine here and I was doing a demonstration in another video. So uh, uh, it worked fine and you can see that the circuit is very simple. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up, send to your friends and see you in the next circuit.